Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new, and if you are new, it would mean so much if you guys hit the subscribe button to join my YouTube family and turn on the bell to be notified every single time I upload, which is every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Today is going to be another Poshmark video. I've done so many now in the past, which I will link all of them in the description box. Recently I got a lot of requests to do a Poshmark video around Poshmark for beginners so kind of tips when you're just starting out and I wanted to share with you my tips and tricks because I was able to get a sale within the first 24 hours of starting my own Poshmark closet. So if you don't know what Poshmark is, it is an amazing platform whether you want to sell or buy items online for discounted. You could just go ahead and start the closet and just sell clothes that you want to get rid of and make some extra cash or you can go ahead and source and kind of flip things to make a profit on them. You could sell anything from women's fashion, men's fashion, kids fashion to home decor. I sell women's fashion. I am currently just getting rid of gently used to brand new items in my closet that I just don't wear. I will also have my own Poshmark closet down below for you guys to go check out. It's just Nicoletta XO. If you guys actually join Poshmark right now with my referral code Nicoletta XO, you will get $10 credit so you can go ahead and buy something you enjoy or you can even buy things on the app and then flip it and resell it on your closet for a profit. Also, before I jump into it, I'm actually currently doing a giveaway right now to win $100. There is still two more weeks to enter. I will have all the information in my description box. It is a co-sponsorship with Rakuten. If you guys don't know Rakuten, you definitely need to check it out. Trust me, this is a great tool. It is the largest cash back website and they have over 2,500 stores, Ulta, Walmart, Lululemon, Sephora, they have everything and you could just make cash back on any order you make. And also if you guys sign up with my link, which is just in the description box, you will get a free $40 once you make your first purchase. And that is great for the holiday time. And once you sign up with my link, you can then go ahead and enter the giveaway with the second link where the giveaway rules are. Then you can enter to win an extra $100 on top of the 40 that you're already gonna get if you use Rakuten. All the information to both the giveaway and to my Poshmark referral link down below for you guys to go check out and sign up and get your free money so if you want to learn how to start Poshmark and how to make money on Poshmark let's just get right into it Poshmark like I said is an amazing platform in order to sell or buy gently used to brand new items for such a discounted price Poshmark is really great because there's no upfront fees they take out a fee within your price but you don't have to pay any extras because it's just all included when it comes to the shipping so I find that it's just the easiest app to use it took me really no time to learn how to actually use the app all you have to do is download the app onto your phone you can also use their desktop version but to be honest I do Poshmark all through my phone once you download the app onto your phone you're just going to click the app and then you are just going to obviously sign in make your name of your store whatever you want it to be called but once you set up your storefront all you have to do is click the camera icon that says sell and this is where you're gonna take all your photos of your items so that brings me to tip number one which is extremely useful to take as many photos as Poshmark allows you to take I remember the first day I started Poshmark I literally took all my clothes and just took one photo of the front, one photo of the back of the item. And that was such a waste because I had to go back and retake all my photos because it just wasn't enough photos. People want to see up close. They want to see details. If there's anything wrong with the item, you want to be upfront and honest. You want to show it so that the person isn't surprised when they receive your item. And the end of the day, you want returning customers. You don't want to try and scam your customers just to get a quick sale and they never come back and you're just gonna get a really bad reputation if you do so on my closet if I click on to an item you could see up close photos you could see far away photos I like to show up close photos tags so they can see the material of the clothing piece and the sizing you want to show any details if there is anything on your clothing you really just want to make sure that someone is getting as much information as they can through your photos I take my photos just with my 
iPhone. iPhone quality is honestly amazing. You don't even need a different camera. I don't like to add filters onto it, but sometimes I do, however, like to increase the brightness of the item just so you can get a clear, crisp image of the item because a lot of the times the item can come out kind of dark and you want the person to really get a true indication of what the color and what the item looks like. When you are taking photos, you want to make sure that you take a photo of the item with no clutter in the background. I like to usually just use kind of like a white bright background. I know a lot of people also do show their clothes by putting it onto a mannequin or them wearing it themselves. So that's another route you can go down. I find a lot of the times when people start out, their item just doesn't look the best because of the lighting and the way they took the photo photo, if it's blurry, people aren't going to want to buy that if they think that it just doesn't look good in the photo. So your photos are really, really important. And once you do have your photos, it is now time to list your item. So you're just going to take your photos and you're just going to crop them or do whatever you have to to them. And then you're just going to go to next. And I, like I said, I don't like to put any of the Poshmark filters on. I just don't think it does anything for it. And then you're going to get a whole list of things that you have to add. So they'll have the title, describe it, category, quantity, size, brand, color, new takes, original price, listing price. It will also tell you your own earnings you're going to get when sold. Poshmark will take a 20% fee out of your earnings and that's all they're going to take. There's no other fees for shipping or anything like that. So it will tell you how much you're going to earn. So you're able to see that before you go ahead and list the item. That brings me to tip number two, and that is to make sure that you are being extremely descriptive and you're adding as many keywords as possible into your listings so that people are easily able to find your item with it when they search it up on the Poshmark app. It just also allows the person to know exactly what your item is. When it comes to your title of the item, you want to add as many keywords as possible. That includes the style, the brand name, the color, the size, if you can possibly add it all into the title. And then in the description box, I usually like to rewrite out my title and everything I put into that, but I also like to add extra keywords. You can even add things like what you would pair your item with or what it feels like, if it's comfortable, stretchy, things like that. Just describing it more in detail so the customer really feels like they know what they're getting. Because it is online, they can try it on. You wanna try to be as descriptive as possible. When it when it comes to also items, a lot of the times people do ask questions when it comes to the measurements of your clothing, especially with pants and jeans. So that is something to take into consideration when listing those type of items. You may want to also do some measurements. And if someone does go ahead and ask you a question, it's always great to answer the question as soon as possible so that you don't miss out on a potential customer. Once you describe the item and you describe the material of your item, you are then going to go ahead and enter the rest of the information. So the category, you're just going to write what it fits under. Is it a dress? Is it an accessory? You're going to click whatever it is. Quantity, I usually, is usually just one. It depends. You can either put one or multiple. Then you're going to go ahead, put the size, the brand, the color, and if it's new with tags. The last option is to write the original price and the listing price. Sometimes I go ahead and write the original price if I remember the price of things. But sometimes I honestly just put zero in that section. I haven't noticed a difference in my sales when it comes to that. Once you go ahead and put all of your information in for the item, you're just gonna click next and it's ready to share your item. So it's gonna share it onto your Poshmark closet and onto the feed of Poshmark. You can also go ahead and share it on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, or Tumblr. So you can connect your accounts and share it on there if you would like but you don't have to, you could just go ahead and share it on your closet. But if you have a little bit of a following, it may entice someone to see it on those other platforms and it may bring more people to your closet. Now that you have your item listed on your Poshmark closet, I'm gonna tell you a few more tips in order to get that sale. Something I always do with my items is I share them daily. If you go onto your Poshmark closet, 
there will be a section where it has like the two arrows and you just click that and you can click share to my followers and you can also share it to a Poshmark party if there is one going on. So there's about three Poshmark parties every single day and Poshmark parties are just where they have specific brands that you could share your items to for a certain amount of time so it may get your item out to more people. But I totally recommend sharing your items to your followers a couple times to a few times a day if possible. If you can't, at least try to do it once a day. I find the more I am active on the app and I share my items, the more likely I am going to get a sale. Poshmark's all about being active. Another tip on how to get a quick sale on Poshmark is to sell items that are on trend. I find that trendy items tend to sell quicker and items that are a little bit of a brand name. Even for myself personally, the biggest quick flips I've had was selling items that are from like Lululemon or Ugg or even Ki Quay, those sunglasses, those sold right away for me and that was actually the first item I ever put on my closet and it sold the same day. But I do have a lot of items that aren't like brand names and they still sell. It just sometimes may take a little bit longer. It also depends if your clothing is on season. So now that we are going to the winter months, people are now obviously looking for winter clothing, jackets, boots. Another tip I have is just do your research. So if you go onto the app, let's say you have some Zara items that you were trying to sell. So all you have to do is go into the shop section on Poshmark where it has the magnifying glass and just search Zara on the app. And then once you search Zara, you're gonna go and all the way and click availability and go to sold items. And it's gonna tell you what recently sold when it came to Zara items. And you can kind of see how much they sold for and what's kind of selling so that you can hopefully get items like that and put it onto your closet. And you could do the same with all different brands. You're having trouble pricing your items. That's a great way to see what it typically sells for. You wanna give a reasonable price so that people are going to buy it quicker. If your prices are just unreasonable, they're not gonna buy it as quick or they may never want to buy the item. Another tip I have is a lot of the times people are going to like your item. So whenever someone hearts my item, a tip I always do is I go ahead right away and I typically send a like to offer. So how you do that is you just go onto your item and then you're going to click it and then there's a section right on your item where it says offer a price drop. And you can either edit a listing and put your item cheaper and everyone will get notified via email that you lowered it. But I like to personally send offer to likers where you are able to send a offer and it's gonna send it to all the people that like the item. So you can send an offer that's 10%, 20% to 30% off. Unfortunately, when it comes to this feature, you do have to give a shipping discount. Maybe surprise, they may just go ahead and accept it. I find that happens a lot when I do that. And now I'm gonna talk quickly about shipping. I showed you guys in one of my Poshmark videos the shipping items I personally use, which I will link that video above. And like I said, I will have all the other videos I've done in the description box. There's a lot more in-depth tips and tricks on how to get sales on those videos. But when it comes to shipping, it's actually super simple to do. So once someone buys an item off your closet, the first thing that's gonna happen is a shipping label is gonna go directly into your email inbox. And all you have to do is print that shipping label out, put it onto whatever package you're gonna use, and then you go ahead to your post office and ship it out. I love how Poshmark really does the shipping for you. You don't have to pay any money. And actually a lot of the times you can get free shipping boxes and things like that at the USPS, I believe. I don't believe that Canadians can do that, but I believe that Americans can do that. If you wanna spend a little bit more time and spend a little bit more on your shipping, you can go ahead and kinda of get like personalized shipping supplies for you, which is personally what I do. Sometimes I do reuse boxes and stuff like that when the package is too big. You wanna give them an experience and you want them to come back more and give you that good rating. So definitely make sure you are packaging the items carefully because you don't also want them to get damaged when they are being shipped. Once they are being shipped and it goes to your customer, your customers may rate you, they may not at all. It may just get delivered and they just don't end up rating you, which is okay, but sometimes people do go ahead 
ahead and leave you a rating. If you do get a five out of five rating and someone leaves you a love note, which is just a little note on their experience with you, it will go onto your profile, which is really great because people can see that you have good reviews about you and it's going to make people more likely to shop off you. If you go onto your Poshmark closet page, there's a section where it says about and edit profile. You're just going to click about and it's going to say underneath love note. Of course, when you do ship things out, there's going to be some customers that honestly weren't the happiest, but for the most part, I've actually been able to get really good reviews and that always makes my day when someone likes the item. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the Poshmark ambassador kind of status. So you're going to see in Poshmark that there's some people that in their profiles that say they're a Poshmark ambassador. So in order to apply as a Poshmark ambassador, you actually have to meet the criteria. So in order to see if you meet it, you're just going to go on the section where it says at your Poshmark closet. It's the last icon on the bottom right and then you're gonna go all the way down until it says my posh stats if you go on to this it will show you everything you have to do so you have to get a certain amount of community shares self shares new posture shares you have to have a certain amount of available listings sales your average purchase rating has to be above 4.5 stars you also have to have an average shipping rate of less than three days and then you yourself have to give a love note to someone so you would have to buy at least one item on the Poshmark app in order to become a Poshmark ambassador which is why using my code Nicoletta XO is great to sign up with because you get a free credit you can go ahead and buy something off the Poshmark app and once you receive the item and you leave a love note on that Poshmark closet that's just one step closer to becoming that Poshmark ambassador or it may just lead you to becoming a Poshmark ambassador that is all of my tips and tricks when it comes to Poshmark for beginners like I said I will have all my other Poshmark videos down below for you guys to go check out for more tips and tricks don't forget to check out my description box for my referral link and if you guys also want to win a hundred dollars and make sure you guys go check out my giveaway with Rakuten in the description box. You guys can also leave your closets in the description box, of course. Click the subscribe button. I do upload every single week, every Tuesdays and Thursdays. And on that note, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!